Okay, so welcome back guys. Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and wrap up the login and registration flow of our application. So let's say for instance the user has not been registered on the application before and from the registration page he should be able to get back to the login page. So that's exactly what we want to achieve in this lecture. So before we go ahead and do that, we need to first of all verify that we've properly set the storyboard ID for every single view controller that we have on our storyboard. So when I select this view controller, I'm going to go to properties. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the class. I'm going to paste it here as the storyboard ID. So we already explained what the storyboard ID is used for. It helps us to easily navigate from one view controller to the other. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for registration view controller, register view controller rather. So I'm going to copy this and paste this here. All right. Now the next thing we need to do will be to open up a login view controller. Okay, so what we want to achieve is that when we tap on click to register label, it's going to take us to a registration page. So to do that, we need to go ahead and add a click event handler for our label. But the funny thing is that click to register is a label and it doesn't have any click event handler attached to it. So you can see there is no touch up inside and there is no click event. So to be able to have something that seems like an event listener for this label, we need to go ahead and make use of tab gesture recognizers, right? So to be able to add an event listener, or more like a tab recognizer to our label, we are going to make use of what we call the UI tab gesture recognizer. But before we do that, we need to first of all go ahead and enable user interaction on this label. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to true. So after that, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and define a new tab gesture recognizer. So the tab gesture recognizer will be responsible for notifying our application whenever our user taps on this particular label. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and say click to register dot add gesture recognizer. So this is going to be new UI tab gesture recognizer. So it's this tab gesture recognizer that we really want to implement. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and make use of a lambda expression to implement this. All right. So with this, we can now go ahead and write the commands that we want to execute when we tap on the click to register. So what we want to do here is to navigate to register view controller. So I'm going to go ahead and say register view controller. So I can call it register view controller. This should be equal to this storyboard dot instantiate view controller and the view controller that we want to instantiate is the register view controller so what we needed to provide here will be the storyboard id which is the same thing as register view controller all right so this is going to be an instance of register view controller okay now the next thing we need to do here will be to set up the presentation style. So here I'm going to go ahead and say register view controller dot modal presentation style. So the modal presentation style is going to be equal to UI modal presentation style dot full screen because we want the view controller to cover the entire screen, more like a new page. And finally, you need to go ahead and now say present view controller. We're going to pass it our register view controller and we want it to be animated and there is not going to be any callback. Right. So this is how to go about adding gesture recognizers to views that doesn't have click event handlers. So besides just the label, there are other views that will come across later on in the app that doesn't actually have click event handlers. So we are going to be relying heavily on the tab gesture recognizers to be able to get user feedback when they tap on those kind of views. So to complete this process, we need to go into our register view controller and complete this same process. Because when we are on the register page and we kind of want to log in, so we need a way to return back to the login page. So that's exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the register view controller. 
so we need to go ahead and do just the exact same thing we did in the login page so I can easily go ahead and say click to login all right seems to do name that particular label so we can just return back to our storyboard and try to name the label so I need to go to the document outline and this is the label so we need to go ahead and give it a name I'm going to name it click to login all right so now let's return back to our register view controller all right so we're gonna have click to login dot add gesture recognizer a new UI tab gesture recognizer we need to also go ahead and make use of lambda expression all right now the next thing we need to do will be to write the commands that is going to take us back to our login view controller So this is just the exact same thing we did in the register view controller. So we're just going to go ahead and do the reverse. Okay. So we had an error here. All right. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and say login view controller dot modal presentation style, which is going to be equal to full screen. And finally, we need to go ahead and present the view controller. Alright, so this is all we need to do. But before we go, we need to also ensure that we enabled user interaction on the click to login label. So I'm going to go ahead and say click to login dot user interaction enabled. So we need to set this to true. Alright, so now that we successfully enabled the user interaction, the next thing we need to do is to run our app on an emulator so that we can confirm that everything works appropriately just the way we expected it. Bam! So I'm going to go ahead and click on click to register and we have our register page and when we click to login and we have our login page. So this is really very useful. So guys this will be all for now. See you in the next class.